Some people say they feel a calling to a certain line of work, and that was the case for Brian Hohalter. And this morning, more about his calling and why he's this week's Someone You Should Know. So my mission, my job is to serve Christ, to model Christ, to reflect Christ. I fail miserably at it. But as an overall sense of call, that's what I'm called to do. And it's that very mission that brought Brian Hohalter from his hometown of Bismarck to California to Detroit. After attending college, he went on a musical tour of the U.S. and Canada, and that's when he met his wife. I saw Holly across the way. I said, that's the girl I'm going to marry. So i got to go. While he grew his family with Holly, he also worked on his career with the church and started going on ride-alongs with a sergeant from the Detroit Police Department. First ride along I went on, it was it was horrible. I saw a, uh, you know, a woman who'd been dead for three weeks, and I won't go into details, but it was gruesome, and that's I, I didn't need to see that. But my whole point was, this guy saw this stuff all the time. I think he needed someone to know what he was going through. However, Ho Halter always knew he would end up back in his hometown. So after he moved back to Bismarck, he started pastoring for the Bismarck Baptist Church, and he was immediately asked to be a chaplain for the Bismarck Police Department as well. And since North Dakota has very few chaplains, Hohalter is called all over the state to stand with people in their time of need and grief. And in order to fill the gap, Hohalter has started a 501c3 for chaplaincy crisis care, training in new chaplains across the state. That way, when something tragic happens, there are experts there to help care for all. Just like when Deputy Paul Martin was killed in the line of duty last year in Mercer County. It turns out one of our chaplains we trained lives across the street from Deputy Martin. It doesn't make anything go away for the family. It's unbelievably tragic, but there was someone there within minutes, and we brought other teams up the next morning and stayed for several days and debriefed people in a variety of settings and helped them begin to get through it, what they'd seen. Well, that's what I want to have happen across the state and counties. Ho Halter not only stands by officers in their times of need, he also teaches young ones about marriage and how trying a relationship can be with an officer. You're, you're a courageous person. You're a disciplined person. You're generous people. You just are. And when you face the negative influences of police work and take those four qualities and apply them to your marriage relationship, it can overcome some of the challenges that, that exist in there. However, about eight years ago, Brian's calling changed. He was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease at the age of 58, and he says that being diagnosed left him with nowhere to turn. It was awful because he, he had no, no uh, compassion, no care, no resources take a couple of these pills, I'll see you in six months or whatever else. He is not the only one and says that people are misinformed all of the time. That's why he began an onboarding group for those who are newly diagnosed with Parkinson's. It offers patients support by showing them resources that they can utilize within the community and doctors that can help. Hohalter says that a lot of these resources have helped him immensely as he continues to fight the neurodegenerative disease. I don't have to be sick or I'm being sick. I, I, I want to stay active and engaged. And I can do these things. And that gives me reason to get out of bed in the morning. It gives me a sense of purpose. His calling has led him to help many throughout his life. In fact, one day at a dog park, a woman sat by Ho Halter and started to sob. She said that she remembered him as chaplain after her fiancé died by suicide. After she lost her fiancé, she fell into addiction and became homeless. And she was saying, it's so cool that God sent you here. A year later, Ho Halter and his wife took that woman and her dog in and are still helping her find her journey to sobriety today. He says that his calling is to help others in life, whether that be housing the homeless, sitting with people, helping them in their time of grief, or encouraging the sick to keep fighting. Brian Ho Halter is someone you should know. And Ho Halter says that, that he's been married to his wife, Holly, for 42 years, and they have three sons together, and they often enjoy writing their Harley Davidsons. And if you think that there's someone that we should know, like Brian, you can head over to kxnet.com and just look for someone you should know under the news tab, and we'll have a link under the nomination page. And Stone, I just got to tell you, during that interview, Brian was trying to get me to say doo-doo a couple times because yeah. a couple 
couple weeks ago, <laughs> we were making fun of you on air, but I have to show you the clip of it because it's quite funny, but he watches us all the time. So. Yeah, hopefully he made you say it after you, you posted <laughs> it everywhere for me accidentally <laughs> saying it. So We got it. We love you, though. Yeah, we, that's true. That you're telling true. us all about the weather, though. Yeah, What's it like today? We'll start this off looking at our bus stop forecast for uh, the day.